It's 2015 and I've awoken in a period in time where houses are built upon divorce and families are on a path so coerced that stumbling is easier than to stand. Shutting our windows before we sleep and your wife lies in bed and continues to weep and tears seep into the soil where sin planted a seed as Adam would plead in the Garden of Eden for the forgiveness of his sins because a life of perfection turned into it could have been. Now what went wrong in a household brought upon the word of king of all kings is you decided to clip the wings of his sent angels and reject the help from his hand and now where are you? Alone you stand. And alone she stood as her husband kissed her goodbye and left for work that day. And not once did she stop to pray as he walked away. Though knowing another woman would look into his eyes and to no surprise would await to him at sunrise. But it didn't stop at the parent's room as the house of cards began to shake and in slithered temptation from the mouth of a snake that just as Snow White Eve would take and bite into the poisonous fruit and the daughter, led by example, put her Lord and Savior on mute, unlike her insecurities that just piercingly screamed in her head, making her dread her reflection and her punishment for that was she was sentenced to 365 days of pure rejection and her only form of acceptance in society nowadays is found in such demeaning ways that knocks on every used store with the banging and pounding of tangible malaise and she couldn't find her happiness in a plate of simply air to the scale which she couldn't bear and she'd swear there was nothing wrong but her scars revealed the lies and to mask her depression she wore a disguise and to no surprise she was battling the storm however the slits on her wrists are now a generation norm as the storm raged in fury, the future for the family faded so blurry. As the serpent slithered under the sun's bed and temptation into his mind, the sun followed in footsteps already planted and left his lord behind. So far back he couldn't find a way back home, his vision now blind. His anger he couldn't keep sealed like Cain as he poured out his brother's blood into the vastness of a field that the sun would do whatever to escape reality, but he'd come back to the same place, the same mess, the same mentality, and nothing healed him of the anger that rushed through his veins as his chains bounded so tightly that he struggled for air because his thoughts and regrets were something he couldn't bear. Now is that the end of the story or the first signs of God's glory as the house of cards began to crumble, yet God's miracles continue to rumble, planting each card stronger than before with grace, love, and hope cemented on the cracks of each door. The Lord placing a healing hand on each and every family member firm enough for them to remember that without God there is nothing we can do. He is the one who can magnify the glass we're looking through. That no matter what obstacle the enemy has to throw our way, never forget the day a special someone came to pay to take all that sin, all that sorrow, all that brokenness away.